I'm gonna give you guys about 10 seconds to try and guess where I am right now. You got it yet? We're inside my bear. I went AFK and my bear ate me. Yep. No, literally. We're, we're inside of him right now. Can't move. Can't jump. This mother sucker ate me. Straight up. Straight up. After all the things that I've done for him, just goes on and eats me. What a guy. I can't even, I can't even, I can't even crouch. What a guy. There you go. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pizza Brent, and I'd like to say welcome back to another episode of Crazy Craft here. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> You know, when you do a, a, a default introduction like that, like my standard intro, you know what I mean? Like my, my patented intro, the hey everybody, what's going on, it's Pizza to Brandon thing, and you follow it up with like a subtle change, sometimes they get mixed up here and there. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved here on the Ark server. Not crazy or craft or anything of the sorts. Guys, welcome back to another episode. We are here out uh, kind of back where we used to live with our good old Dire Bear. I did a little bit of work off camera, the very few work that I did. I'm going show you guys right now this mother trucker is just filled with nothing but stone right now just up to the brim where he'll be able to run me back home so we got some you want to go ahead and uh, let me Ooh, that might actually be kind of bad are you encumbered now no you're not encumbered quite yet we're gonna go ahead and run this guy back right now because what i want to get working on is making my area a lot more industrial than it really is right now because i like my area as it is but like We've only got two smithies. We've only got two refining forges. We've got, like, one uh, mortar and pestle. We've got one campfire. We don't really have, like, a lot of materials. And to be honest, we need to start really stocking up on some materials and really start taking out some, like, not necessarily... That guy was freaking out for a minute there. Not necessarily some, like, higher-level dinosaurs, but just to really defend ourselves a bit better than we are right now. So let me go ahead and open this up right here. Get me in! Get me in! Get me in! Get me in! Close the door! Close the door! Hold the door! Hold the door! I don't- I don't watch Game of Thrones. Okay. Either way, so, went ahead and got a ton of stone on me right now. That thing just disappeared in front of me. Very, very happy that it wasn't a yellow or above, or I would have been... What, son? What, son? What, son? What, son? You want some? You want some? You want some? Do you want some? The fudge were you all doing out there? Did you get a good healthy meal right there, dude? Yeah, there you go. Eat up, my man. Eat up, my man. Now he's in now he's encumbered. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. So I basically went ahead and gathered up a ton of stone on me right now. Let me go ahead and get rid of these narco berries. Get rid of all that extra weight piling us down right now. We should be able to get up. Nope, still encumbered. I can actually see in the top right hand corner. We'll keep the hide on us for right now because we're gonna need that. Go ahead and get rid of the stem berries as well. And uh how oh man, how long until we're not encumbered anymore, dude? Get rid of a little bit more meat. A little bit more meat. I don't want to get rid of the meat. I think we'll go ahead and maybe like take away half of our stone right here. Let me actually go ahead and take a stone in my inventory right here. And then we'll split up like maybe 66. Still encumbered. Why is this guy... Oh, it's probably because I never actually dropped this item out. Okay. Let me go and drop that item right there. Now we're not encumbered. We can go ahead and make it back home. So yeah, basically I want to get working on a lot more refining for just to start getting a lot more ammunition for our weapons. As you guys saw when we took down our alpha yesterday, the alpha level 82... Uh, by the way, hoping there's no problems with the audio. I really hope not, which is why I'll be doing a lot of cuts this episode. Really just making sure the audio is fine. Either way, though, let me go ahead and tell you to uh, stop right there. Do not move. Basically, we're going to get working on making a ton of refining forges because we had like 46 bullets, but that's all that we have to our name. And I think now we've got like maybe 15 and it's like... It's way too much of a hassle of making ammunition. So let's just make all the ammo right now and try getting set up on that. You know what I mean? So basically, what we're going to go ahead and do right now is we're going to go ahead and get working on putting away all the stone into... Uh, I guess this smithy right here would be the ideal one. So let me go ahead and transfer up all the stone right along here. I basically did this off camera because it's, it's probably the most tedious task that we're going to wind up doing. Let me go ahead and place that all down in there. There you go. Throw this all into there. Looking absolutely beautiful. There you go. And we are mostly good. We should have somewhere around... Uh, I'm actually not, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I think we got somewhere around 1,500 stone from just one run of this guy. And if we do, it's a little bit... Actually, I don't know if we'll have that much. But actually, we might cut it close. Hold on a second. So, let's see right here. We have structures, uh, metal... No, stone real fast here. We got a total of 1,573 stone. That is absolutely sick. 
Now, uh, here's the deal, right? What we want to wind up doing is we need to make a lot more gunpowder, right? But to make gunpowder, you need charcoal. Charcoal is made by smelting up wood, right? You make it inside of here. Obviously, we smelted up a ton of wood, so we've got a pretty good amount of charcoal. We got about 115 in here, and we got about 155. So we got about 270 in total. Not too bad. But I want to get working on making a lot more refining forges because our area is such a good area with the fact that we have infinite wood all the wood is already gathered for us we just need to go out and literally drop it into our dino well our bear okay the bear is my favorite dino <laughs> just, just love just love dinosaur bears you know what i mean they're my just, just my favorite bears in the world right <laughs> watch me up with a stick so yeah, let me go ahead and drop all the wood that I've got right here into my inventory. We'll go ahead and transfer that up right there. We are now fully encumbered. Can I access? Yes, I can. That's a beautiful part about smithies, man. You can just take so much in your inventory and just drag it all over without having to worry about how much you can carry. And it's just freaking beautiful. So we're going to take all the wood from right out of there. Uh, now, is that all the wood that we've got? No, we do have a little bit more wood. There you go. Looking good. Encumbered again, of course. Now, to make uh, not smithies, but refining forges, rather, we need... What do we need right now? We need... Let me go ahead and check right here. Uh, stone, flint, hide, wood, and fiber. Now, we have a infinite amount of fiber. We're good on fiber. We got a good amount of wood. We're good on wood. We need a little bit of hide, though. It's 65 hide per. Everything else we mostly have, but this is going to go ahead and eat up a lot of our hide, which kind of really is unfortunate, but we'll just go ahead and see here. So, we've actually got a lot of hide, though. Like, ooh, wow, we've got a lot of hide. Never mind. I thought for a second that we didn't have that much, but no, we've got a ton of hide in here all right uh let me go and transfer up everything that i just drew over there so we'll make the hide go in we've got a lot of hide bro in fact actually how much do we have in total we've got a total of uh craftables let me see right here we have over here uh 180 no no no. that's just what's in our immediate inventory wait do we have more hide in here oh my god we have more in here too holy crud Wow, that's actually impressive right there. Okay. Not sure how much hide we've got, but we've got, I'm pretty sure, a good amount right there. Pull that over, and we'll pull in the good old fiber as well. Got a lot of fiber, at least I should have it right there. Quite a bit of it. You know, you get hybrid hyper hyper you get fiber really easy with this uh do not need the berries in there we're going to take those back and the final thing i think i needed was um what was it it was the fiber hide uh wood flints i think we've got everything that we need inside of here let me just check inside my storage and see is there anything else in here that we could possibly need um do i have any more hide in here we got a little bit more flint that i can toss in there we got some pelts that i have not quite used yet but i'll get to that very very soon think we've got most of our materials inside of there so i think we're looking pretty good so let me go ahead and uh basically just make up a ton of these guys right now so uh, inventory i'm just gonna go and drag some stone into there drag about three stacks right there drag a little bit of wood as well drag some of that drag some of that and drag some of that how many of these guys can we make we can craft two more of them not too bad i think we'll do uh four, six in total six in total i think should be good uh, that way we can get, like, you know, mass producing on charcoal, which would be awesome. So, right now, uh, we will need, obviously, a little bit more stone. We've got, oh, we have probably actually a lot more materials than I would even need for this right here. So, all we need now is a little bit more hide, which we definitely have. So, we can go ahead and craft two more of them. And I think, in all honesty, that's going to be all we're going to do for, uh, I'm not sure. I think that might be all that we do for right now, but I'll have to see. We might actually want to make a little bit more, but we can hold off for the time being. What I am going to do is transfer in the remainder of my items right over here. And we need to solve a little bit of a problem that we've been having, right? So you guys know, you know, this is our house right now. And uh, if we want to get industrial, the problem is, is that, uh, well, you know, with these guys, um, we can't really have these co this company. Ooh, hello, hello. I'm going to go and pick you up. Thank you very much. We can't really have this company around our house anymore. I'm sorry, but like five, like... Four's a party, five's a crowd, six is like, what the hell are we all doing in here? And uh, I basically can't put anything else down and we got all these guys messing around. So it's time to finally build a dino pen, which has been um, a little bit more than needed for quite a while. Now, I'm not exactly sure where I want to put the dino pen in particular. I wish I could transfer all the dinos up there, but unfortunately I don't have a Quetzal to be able to pick them up. So I kind of need to figure out where exactly I want to put these guys, where it'll actually make makes sense because we don't need it to be permanent right now we just need it to be an area in fact with that said i might just for the right now the time being because you guys know me 
once I move into somewhere, I like that to be a very permanent location. I think what I might honestly do, uh, let me go ahead and get out the only way that I can. I might make a little, uh, dino pen right here in the back. This might actually be, hmm, no, not too far in the back though, because I don't want any raptors falling down from the top there and ruining my day. Right, where would we want to put, maybe, maybe right here actually. Yeah, you know what, I think right here would actually be a pretty ideal area, so let me go ahead and break this stone down here. This, all this should break right now. And I believe what we're going to need for this, we don't need a giant, the behemoth dino gateway. We just need a standard one. So we'll make up a little bit of those. And then I guess some, uh, I don't know if we want to do walling or how this is going to work. Because I don't think fencing will work. I'm not exactly sure the easiest way to keep a dino pen maintained, right? Gotta have to do a little bit of research. We'll see here. But, uh, Engram Stone Dinosaur Gateway. We need 140 stone, 70 wood, and 50 thatch. Not too bad in all honesty, but then for the wooden one, this requires actually primarily, uh, wood. Which I think I want to go ahead and not use right now, so we'll take the stone. So let me go ahead and go over here then, and we'll drop a little bit of stone into our inventory right there. We need a little bit more wood and a little bit more, uh, well, oh, it's thatch. Right, and I can't move now. Can I just access my Smithy? I don't think that I'm able to. Just five, six. All right. Let me craft up some stuff right now. We'll get on it. So I want to take a little bit of a look right now. I'm making up a stone fence foundation. I'm not sure whether or not you can place fences on the ground. So we're going to go and see right now. I know there's a few. Come on, man. We need to save a rain real quick right now. Either way. So can I put? Oh, can I? Wait, this is a fence foundation. Oh, wait. Defense Foundation. Wait. Wait. I'm not sure I understand what this is. So if I put this down right now, what does that do? Fence Foundation? And then what do I do? Do I put a fence over it? Is that how this works? Is that how this mad game works? Fence Foundation. Stone Fence Foundation. So then... Fence. It's just Fence Foundation. Is it gate? How does this work? I'm sorry, I've never used this before. I've, now I feel like a little bit of a noob again, which is nice. I, I kind of feel, I, I felt a little bit bad. I'm like, do I know too much about the game at my level? No, I definitely do not. By far, I do not. Oh my god, I don't. Okay, well, um, right. What do we do? I don't know what to do. So I guess what this guy is for is for placing a wall on top of it, and that's kind of how it works. I'd imagine, at least, and that should be what it does. So, uh, let's go over here then and build a stone wall and see if we can get anything really going on this. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. So, uh, stone wall, uh, what do I need to go ahead and craft myself up a stone? I should be able to do it right from my inventory here. Uh, stone wall then. I can go ahead and, uh, make you up. We need 40 stone, 21, and 15 thatch. Not all that bad. I guess let's just, um, honestly try it out then and see whether or not this is how this thing works. I would imagine it is, since it's kind of like the only purpose. So, uh, let's go ahead and go over here then. I guess really in that case then, uh, we can just get the wall down, and then, uh, we should be good to go on putting the dinos down. So, yeah, this guy's right over here, and then, okay, all right, so that's how that works then. Interesting. Very interesting. So, I guess really the game plan right now is, uh, craft up a ton of them, a mass ton of these guys, and just lay down a wall. So, let me go ahead and demolish this guy for right now. Uh, like I said, it is a temporary area, but I do want a little bit of, uh, some good spacing on this, so, um, I guess maybe we'll do, uh, I think actually the dino pen could look cool if it was right along here. Maybe. And right around, um, hmm, I'll figure out a place. So I think number one priority should obviously be actually placing down the dinosaur gateway first, and first off, seeing how big this sucker is gonna be. So, uh, let's see, how big are... Okay, that's not too big. That's actually a pretty decent size right there. So we can go ahead and put the gateway down. I'd say right about... I kind of want to do it on the incline. You guys might be able to tell. Uh, we'll put this guy... This guy. We'll put this guy down right over there. Looking good. And then we can go ahead and snap the actual door on right over there. At least I think this one works for it. It does indeed. There we go. Looking pretty good. We got that reinforced dinosaur gate. Not as big as the other one, but, uh, you know, it's... It's kind of like the little mini brother, you know what I mean? It just takes care of it as we need to, and uh, every dinosaur that we have should pretty easily fit through that um, without any problems whatsoever. So, craftables right now, how many can we make? We can make three more of these stone fence foundation. I guess it was just a game of uh, making a few of these guys down now that we got the idea of it, making some walls and uh, moving our dinos over. It's going to be so nice not having them in our place anymore. I should have done this such a long time ago, but hey, priorities. We're making good progress. 
Sometimes you gotta take the time to just do the tedious things. All right, so we have a total of 19 of the railing foundations, and we've got 16 actual stone walls. That's not gonna be enough to fit all the foundations, but hopefully it shouldn't take that much to be able to really get this scene done. It really shouldn't. In all fairness, it really shouldn't, but we'll go ahead and see. So uh, stone wall is gonna go down right over there. Oh, I thought... Mm, we already have to break one of our walls sick boys. I love it I just was like, you know, it can't possibly be oriented wrong, right? There you go You fudging moron. All right So we're we'll going to put down another one of these guys right here I guess I have to really make sure just like with my life right now Which way is stone which way is not stone and we um, you know what also let's just go ahead and lay out the foundation right now So I gotta make sure this guy snaps right no mm. Right at the last second, it just messes with you, man. I hate the snapping on this. Okay, not moving. Looking good. Okay, good. That's fine right there. Now, next one, we're going to want you to snap out right on. Snap. There you go. Snap right about there. That's good. There you go. Good job. Good job. Uh, maybe you should have actually had that one go out a little bit further. Fudge it. Don't care. Do not care. Not at this moment. All right. So you're going to snap then off in that direction right there. Looking good. And now you're going to snap in that direction right there. And you're going to snap again over. Come on. Right over there. Perfect. Right up in the middle. Right. Looking for it. There you go. Good job. Good job. Let's go ahead and mirror this then. So alongside right over here, I believe it was just straight out like this. So I got to go ahead and get it locked on. Get you snapped. Hold on. Wait. Not going to. Wait. Hold on. Careful. Careful. Careful when looking. This is really this is really tedious right now. Careful when looking. Come on there. Oh, oh, you're almost there. Come on. Oh, oh, no. You don't want to look out forward? You really have something against looking out forward, don't you? Oh, you must hate it, don't you? All your friends make fun of you for never looking forward? Oh, man. Is that going to... That's not good. Nope. That's not forward. Forward is facing me right here. Come on. Forward right there. Is that is that locked on? It is. Thank fudging God. That took longer than expected. Okay. So it's forward on that way. And then a little bit of an arc outward again. So we'll go ahead and do another 45 degree angle right along that way right there. Looking good. And this one right here was two out this direction. So we'll do, uh, I think, uh, one there. And then another one down right over there. There you go. Looking pretty decent. Let's go ahead and lay down the walls, I think, right now. Just to go ahead and get a feel for it. So don't mess up. You really just come and shit on my property when I'm in the middle of building? Dude, what this? I'm gonna kill you, dude. That's like that. You know what? No, 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 no. Come here. Parasaur, I'm sorry, but like, you're my. I can't be mad at him, man. He's family. Oh, fudge. You know what? I was an asshole as a child sometimes, too. My mom never my mom never threatened me with a sword, so I'm not gonna do the same <laughs> I'm, not, I'm done anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and continue laying this out right now We'll go ahead and flip that over that direction. There we go. Not sure how big I'm making this thing We're probably gonna need to get a little bit more material to actually fish it out because I do want it to look I'm likely gonna be using this for a decent amount of timer So we do want it to look because I never like half-assing things You know what I mean? Even if it's temporary never really been a fan of half-assing stuff So you right there are the stone in the right direction. There you go. This is uh I think it defaults in the right direction now, which is nice. It only does it on this side, though. So stone going off right there, looking good. Another stone wall down right there, looking great. Another one right there, looking good. So we got... That's actually... That's a pretty damn good looking area. I'm not gonna lie, it's so far it's looking pretty, pretty nice. Uh, I think we'll wanna do it a little bit further, so we'll go ahead and do maybe one more lock that way, looking good. And we'll do the same for over here. We're making it look pretty nice, you know what I mean? Taking care of some tedious tasks, nothing that exciting. We did take out a level 82 Raptor and get a 119 tame last episode, so I mean, you got excitement then. Now it's like, I mean, hey. It's kind of, I guess it, you know what honestly it's all exciting really when you think about it it's all exciting all this is exciting it, it's some good stuff you know what I mean so let me go ahead and make sure we can lay this down right over there looking good we'll lay the foundation the same way over here just making sure you know what actually uh we're, we're gonna make this guy look good so lock you on right there looking great there you go lock you on right over there gotta make sure that there's no ability for anything to fall on it because we don't want to go back that far and it looks like that's not going to be the case which is very very nice so go ahead and do a another foundation out this way right along here get that lock on looking good now we're nearly out of walls so we're gonna have to wind up fixing that soon all right wall getting placed down right there another one down right there and another wall getting placed down right there looking great and then we'll do another one over here so we're gonna need some more stone i believe actually damn it 
<laughs> Keep forgetting it's not the way it's supposed to go. How many walls can I create right now from the stuff that I broke down? We can create just one. Just one measly little wall. So we're going to do that right now. We don't have a lot of stone on us. And unfortunately, we're also pretty much all out of wood in our area too. So uh, doing this is actually costing us a pretty penny. As well as getting those uh, metal or those uh, refineries down. That cost us a pretty penny as well. So I guess what the game plan really is going to be right now is uh, taking my dire bear out for another run. Going and um, really, as much as I hate doing it, I got to ransack these things and I got to kill off more of those little uh, beavers. So catch you guys back in a bit once we've done a little bit more. And uh, yeah, see you guys then. It just, it just disappoints me, really. It's just disappointing. All right, so we got this guy in the back right here. We got our sword for what's about to happen. That beaver is right there off on the side of me. And he's gonna, yep, tail wagged immediately. Coming straight for me. We are fully encumbered. Let's go, my man. Actually, you know what? Maybe just to get a little bit of running room right now. Wait, nope. Here we go. All right, let's go. Let's go, my man. You're level 14. I know you're gonna have backup too, likely. Nope. Maybe not. Okay, well, the only problem, though, is that uh, now I'm encumbered and I can't move right now. I have inventory items. There we go. Drop that on the ground with a good old... Uh, nope. That's not how you do it. It's honestly unfortunate, you know? The way it has to go down, just, you know, the way it is. The way you take all the stuff from them and they get really mad at you and then they just want to go out and do nothing but kill you. Um, actually, though, nobody got mad at me this time. Because I think they're all so far apart that they didn't even notice. Uh, Alright, I guess even beavers have a little bit of uh, a hearing limit too. So they can't necessarily see. They're not all seeing. You know, they're not uh, omni... What's the term for that? What's the term for all seeing? Omni something? I don't even know. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Alright, so we'll go ahead and fill you up a little bit more. Impossible bear. I think that should be all the wood that we really need to get this guy done. If we need any more, then I'm going to kind of be a little bit shocked. And uh, really, I guess... um. What I could probably do then, hmm, well, we need more stone. We primarily just need stone. Uh, so far, this is actually looking not too bad. It's really not as uh, epic as I thought it was going to be, but we'll just go ahead and close up the gates. I guess really what we're going to do is uh, open the gates right here. The floodgates real fast. We'll close them immediately after. Nope, nope, not that fast, not that immediate. All right, let me get through first, thank you. And then now we can close them. And we'll gather out a little bit of stone from right here in front, and um, I guess we'll be good. You know, it's kind of funny. I was just thinking it over, and honestly, it's really cool how, like, in a game like Ark, you know what I mean? To be able to tame, like, an animal at, like, an early stage, you know what I mean? And really be able to keep it throughout your adventure as, like, something that is so vital for you. Not only as, like, a pet and, like, you know, a buddy to carry around, but something that's actually actually helpful you know what i mean is really cool like this dire bear obviously we shouldn't have gotten him especially at the level that we did he's a level 80 already like look at this champion obviously like i said there are things that are a little bit better than him but like honestly one of the best uh okay he's not a dinosaur but one of the best animals in the freaking game you know what i mean he's speedy he's fast he holds a ton of weight good health strong as hell the endurance is massive there's nothing you can't love about him and it's cool because like he's our guy you know what I mean? like he's he's my guy he's my favorite guy been my favorite guy for a very long time and it's just cool how like you know we're able to chill with him he's able to keep us uh pretty much just we can do whatever you know what i mean and it's awesome and uh really honestly it's reliable man it's freaking reliable either way so we got some more foundations over there let's go ahead and make the doors of any or the walls of anything so we'll go ahead and craft up 11 of those guys right there i'm gonna craft some more stuff catch you guys back when we're finished i'm just gonna be honest you gotta love a good bit of fog when you're working hard right you know what i mean nothing to really keep you working hard than that great bit of fog that the game has either way God, I really need to get a no fog mod. Uh, I think it's a no fog mod. I believe that does exist. Either way, laying down the foundation right along here. We're nearly done. I think we can do like one more little arc inward and then we'll be fine. So yeah, what I think that I've got planned for then is we've got eight foundation in total. That's literally all that we have. Looking at it right now, I think we'll just be able... You know what? Honestly... As much as I really want to make this thing look awesome, I really, really do. I know I'm going to wind up getting a better one in the future. So we're just going to go ahead and lay down the final foundation right now. While we have the materials, while we got everything that we need, we're not going to waste any time. And I also got to make sure this is even going to be able to connect up the way that I want it to. Because obviously, it's not going to be a perfect fit. At least I don't believe.
believe so. So this might look a little bit strange in all honesty. Also, this is bothering me. There you go. We got two of those. So go ahead and do two from over here real fast. Get that locked down. Looking good. Yeah, these are going to be a little bit in a, a pretty awkward a direction, I should say. They're not going to meet up with each other. At least I don't think so. So yeah, you go over. Uh, actually, are we even going to have enough to finish this off? Ooh, I think we just are going to... We're just going to have enough, I think. Yeah. Good idea to not go too far into this right now. So we got two remaining. And I guess we'll go ahead and do... Uh, probably, actually... Hmm. Let me go ahead and lay down the walls before I do anything else. So I'll put a wall down right over uh, there. There we go. Looking good. Put another wall down right over there. Flip that up. Another wall down right. Did I flip that? I think I did. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. All right. Do another wall down right over here. We actually made a bit more walls than we would need, which is good. You know, having more is always... Ah, fudge sakes! I say that. And for some reason, on this side, you don't need to flip it. But on that side, you do. What? What to do, man? What to do? Honestly. All right. So, stone going down there. Stone going down there. Another stone going down right there. And then we have just this one little entry right here for this, like, I guess the other direction, I suppose. We wanted to make another door, but not really of uh, much interest to me. What we could actually maybe do then. Oh, you know what? What I might want to do is maybe hook it up so we got, like, a little uh, way going right there. And then, ooh. And then, hold on. And then we got another one going off in the direction direction over right there how is this gonna look oh i think that's gonna be perfect we might want to make like a little sign here okay so that's good right there and then this one does not need a flip uh does not need a flip does not need a flip we have like this tiny little entrance right there that's all right and then what we can do i believe i should have some more signs on me i don't have any signs on me but i know that i've got some signs somewhere here right i can go ahead and make a little bit of a sign there this is kind of like a hi don't come in or something just freaking stupid. But yeah, I guess really what the game plan is right now is to try and get my dinos now out of here. Which uh, shouldn't really be the biggest problem in the world. I don't have a saddle for these guys. Um, and I don't really uh, kind of CBA to make one right now. Either way, I do believe that I uh, go ahead and check around over here. I should have one metal side. We got five of them. Okay, cool. We'll go ahead and carry up uh, just one. I think should be fine. Let me go ahead and take uh, half of those right there. Half and half. We'll go ahead and put the rest of these guys right into there. Looking good. All right, so I guess really now the game plan is um, let's get the dinos out. So first one, obviously, is going to be our good old imposter bear. In fact, you know what, honestly? If I'm being if I'm being completely honest, and I'll say the word honest a million times over until every single one desub desubs unsubs. <laughs> um, I think I think Dire Bear might actually wind up staying inside of our area. If I'm gonna be completely honest, uh, the only problem though is actually getting them out. It's proving to be a lot more difficult than I really had anticipated in the past. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and fly these guys over. So how's the area really looking? That's not too bad of a space. Uh, we'll go ahead and see how big it really is right now. It's definitely not that large, so it's really not going to hold any more than what we already have, which is, um, I'm okay with that in all honesty. We're going to open that up right there. Now, getting the parasaurs out of the house might be a little bit of a problem. So what I might actually wind up doing is breaking down one of the walls right here. Uh, could we actually make another wall if I wanted to? I think we can. We can go ahead and make another one. So I'll go ahead and craft up one more wall for me. And then uh, let's just go ahead and destroy a stone wall right here. Demolish that up. There we go. Make it easy on us. And then we'll be able to get our guys out pretty quickly. So uh, let's just have all you guys follow me. Looking beautiful. Do not want the uh, a bird to follow us. So let me go ahead. Are you following me? You are not perfect. All right, guys, let's go. Come on. Oh, this is something. Oh, this is something. I think only one of them made it out, and they just got stuck right after. Come on, guy. Oh, yo, Trike, pushing the bear out of the way. Come on, guys. You're you're more organized than that. There, <laughs> freaking bears like NBA Jam, dude. Come on. All right, let's get everybody in here right now. Get our house cleared out of the area we were at before. Come on. Bring your friends, bring the party, bring everyone you got, man. It's a freaking, it's a, it's a space jam. What can I say? And then of course we got our slow ass strike over there. So our strike still. Poor level 120 strike. He's the highest level these guys will probably ever be, and yet he's the dumbest of all of them. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna ask all of you guys to stop right there. Do not wind up following. Thank you so much. Now you, um, are you good, my man? Are you good, Trike? Oh, you just now got out of the house. Oh, actually, I don't think the Trike actually would have been able to fit through the doorway there. I think he had to, he had to use the uh, ramp right there. So that's actually interesting. All right, let's go, my man. Come on, moving on through, moving on through. Let's see what you got. Come on, I know you want to. Come on, let's go, Trike. Don't 
You gonna make me get on the saddle and ride you in? All right, well, I guess so. Do you have a level up? Oh, you've got a level up, okay. I guess we can go ahead and level you up in, uh... What do you want to level this guy up in? Food, oxygen, stamina, health. I would imagine maybe weight? I don't know. I'm gonna hold off on that. Guys, let me know in the comments what I should be leveling this guy up as. As well, please also, and when I say it, let me know in the comments, if you know anything about Ark and have some information, please tell me. What should I be leveling up my Parasaurs in? Because they have a level up and had have one for a very long time. Have had, not had have one. They've had one for a very, very long time, and I'm just not really sure what the best thing to level them up in is. So, uh... Let me know a little bit right there, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, make sure you are not following me right there. Looking absolutely good. We'll take our dire bear and ride you back out of here, mainly because uh, you're the no. Okay, thank. Wait, nah, eh? Seriously, it's like imagine you're a really rich guy. You know what I mean? And you've got like 20 really nice cars all in like the same driveway, and this is you trying to figure out how to park them. I swear to God, one of these dinosaurs is gonna get killed by my rage in a moment. Service is lagging. Service is lagging a little bit. It's all it is, Bren. It's all it is. Just a little bit of lag. There you go. We're good. There you go. We'll go and shut this gate. Shut the door. Shut the door on the dinos. We're fine. We're fine. And then we'll go ahead and go back over here with the metal sign. We should be able to place this guy down right over here to prevent them from moving out. There you go. Looking good. And uh, really, I guess, uh, can we get in with this? We can't get in, right? No, okay, we can't get in. Good. Uh, edit sign text. Dino no pass, please. I don't fudge know right now. I'm honestly not in the freaking mood to make a sign, have a clever name or clever writing. Either way, we now have our dinos in its own dino pen, which is so freaking awesome. And uh, now we can move our dire bear back into our house and be the lone ranger, the lone exclusive. He actually can't get up there. Wow, well that's something right there. So, what we'll be able to do now, we still have our good old ramp that will allow easy access in and out because obviously we want this guy to be protected. But the final thing we'll go ahead and do is place on our final door right over here, that which is going to be that direction. Looking beautiful, it feels so much nicer already, which is so nice. So, what we're going to go ahead and do with that said is take our good old uh, refinery forge, which I believe I actually put away inside of our smithy. Let me go and check out right here. I believe that I did. And I did not. What did I do with those forbs? Did I put them in here? I put them in here. Okay, so we got four more of these guys right down here. The question is, where do we want to put them? Could we maybe put them like right along here? Will this be able to fit six? I'm not actually sure because we already have two more of them down right over here. I'd feel kind of bad like having to move them over. But at the same time, I feel like it'd be a lot more awesome to have them like in the corner right here. Because I kind of, I don't know. I really dig this corner as like the uh, the furnace corner. So I'm going to do it. We'll go ahead and put another one down right. Wait, no. That apparently, oh, a little bit. Of, okay, we're lagging for sure. I'll right, we'll put one down right over there. We'll turn this guy to go off. We want to make them look a little different. You know what I mean? We'll put one down right over there. Put another furnace down right over, uh, squeeze it right on past right there. There we go, looking good. We might be able to fit six. We might be able to fit all six, or we might be able to fit five in total. There we go, looking good. And uh, I guess really what the game plan is now, do I demolish these guys and let that be it? Or do I leave them here and just be okay with that? I think in all honesty, I'm going to go the distance of demolishing them just to have them all in the same spot. So let me go ahead and take a charcoal from right there in the metal out of you. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing. Take a charcoal out in the metal out of you. And I guess really uh, it's demolish game. Demolish that one up right there. Demolish that one up right there. We'll obviously be able to make a new one straight off the... Wait, no, we can't. Oh, okay. Apparently we didn't get half hide from that. You get like maybe a third or something? Not actually sure what went on with that, but... We might actually be running a little bit. Yeah, we're actually running pretty low on hide. I think we'll only have enough hide to be able to make the remaining two of these guys. And then we'll have to go on some... Uh, we gotta go... Basically, we gotta go on some killing sprees. You know what I mean? We gotta go on some killing sprees soon. So, at the end of all this right now, what else do we need? We need about 85 stone and 40 fiber. We already have the fiber. We just need a little bit more stone and we'll be good to go. So, let me go ahead and grab up our good old refiner forge right over here. There we go. You can go ahead and get placed down right on there. Looking, uh, actually, hold on a second. We're going to back you up a little bit right about there. Looking good. That's good. I like that, baby. Ooh, they actually backed up. Oh, I don't like that. You know what? Doesn't matter. We'll make this one extend out a little bit to kind of even it up. So what do we need then? We need just a little bit more stone, which I can actually... 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna grab from this little guy right here. See if we can get maybe 85 stone from this. I doubt it. Oh, uh, 63. That's what I thought. Okay. Uh, take a little bit more stone for maybe... What's another stone object that we can break down right now? I'm not too paranoid about breaking down stone around my area because I know that it respawns, which is so nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab a little bit more stone right there. There we go. And uh, that should be all the stone that we need. We just need a little bit more fiber, which I've got back at my house. This is awesome. We're making some really good progress today. Really good advancements in technology. Still haven't gotten into electronics at all. Gonna honestly be a little while before we do. I definitely want to go ahead and get working on the uh, the dino tame aspect of things first. Really get the uh, the brute killing working first before we wind up doing any dino or any electronics. So we got all that, and uh, I guess really we'll grab out the fiber from our good old brand chest right over here. There we go. Do you need fiber? I got your fiber oats right there, baby. Craft up the final one of these guys right there, and we'll put it down. And then really, I guess the game plan off camera will be to uh, get a bunch of wood. Actually, you know what? Hold on. We'll go ahead and place it down right there. Looking good. So that right there is six refinery forges. It's not that impressive, but it's still pretty damn good. I'm pretty proud of that right now. So I guess the game plan is, uh, do we have any wood on us? We should actually have a pretty good amount of wood, right? Or did I use it all? Uh, we've got 37 wood on us right now, and actually we've got, uh, we've got about 99 wood. We're looking okay. So, what I'm gonna go ahead and do in that case then, just for right now before I wind up doing some off-camera stuff, is split you into about, uh, six even stacks, I'd say. We'll go ahead and split you up right there, and split you 48 up right there. And, uh, we'll go ahead and access inventory, drop this into there. There you go. We'll drop this, uh, one over into here. A little bit of some tedious stuff going down right now, but this is freaking awesome. Making progress, looking great. I'm running out of stock commentary to make right now, so we gotta end this episode fast, baby. Fast as lightning before I get boring as all hell. Wood going down, got it, and then here we go. Ready for it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let the charcoal cooking commence. That right there is a good episode. Guys, we're gonna go and dip it off right there. Got our six refinery forges, got our dinosaur pen, so our home is now feeling so much less claustrophobic. It's nice, it feels great, and I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye to you guys now. Hopefully you enjoyed, take care, and I'll catch you all tomorrow for another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Real fast, though, I wanna say thank you guys so much for the support on it. Being a non-Minecraft series, and the fact that this thing gets like 70, 80K views in a day, you know, 60, 70, 80K, that's crazy. Really, that's honestly flattering, and I cannot be more thankful. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the series. I'm loving it, and it's just been such a nice breath of fresh air. But yeah, love you guys very much. Take care, and I'll catch you all back tomorrow for another episode. Ciao!